ሰላም ሰላም ጓደኞች እንደምናችሁ እንኳን እንደና መጣችሁ ዌልካም ቱ ማይ ዩቲዩብ ቻናል ቱዴይ ሌትስ ሲ ቱጌዘር ስፔሻሊ ኦባውት ኮንክሪት ግራቪቲ ዶ ዘት ኢስ አር ሲ ሲ ዳም ኮምፖነንትስ ኤንድ ኢትስ ፋንክሽን ሌትስ ሲ ቱጌዘር don't forget to subscribe share and follow my youtube channel uh, so let's see step by step uh, first let's see uh, what the profile look like let i use this uh, gravity dome uh, structure with some names from the uh, internet for example this is is a portion of auxiliary speedway that is auxiliary means it is used as a speedway for emergency case emergency case uh, here is erosion protection erosion protection here is the reservoir reservoir means that is the area behind the dam here is the dam is constructed across the natural river or streams and due to the construction of this dam the water is stored behind the dam this is known as a reservoir here is the structure known as a spillway here is type of obvious spillway here is different there are about five yes one two three four five and here is intake tower intake tower here is again uh, erosion protection at the left the right side uh, the another one is concrete gravity dam this is concrete gravity dam with triangular uh, profile here is powerhouse powerhouse it is as name indicate uh, the house of the power that is, is contain electromechanical device just yes, generator turbine so many and the another one is an embankment dam as an embankment dam here is the green part this is an embankment dam this is conduit outlet pipe conduit outlet pipe here is down stream erosion protection mm, normally as the downstream uh, energy is better with different shape it is provided that is for example bucket type box type uh, and the another one is uh, downstream side is downstream side of the dam upstream side of the dam so let's see uh, concrete gravity dam profile what is the main component of rcc dam the function the function of each component so let's see step by step is the first one concrete gravity dam profile it is uh, it is profile generally it is triangular shape is triangular shape this is a uh, concrete gravity dam means resist it is lowered by its uh, self weight by uh, this triangular shapes let's see uh, these figures yes i prepare by myself therefore this one is a uh, parapet wall is it is provided in both sides yes parapet wall this one is the crest crest means this is the head of the dam yes uh, crest this means the crest crest of the dam uh, so another one is spillway spillway is structure provided within within or a uh, separate from the dam to use to uh, relieve a surplus or excess water from the dam or from the reservoir uh, another one is a uh, sluiceway sluiceway is provided at uh, the bottom to release silt that is dead load dead load here is upstream downstream face of the dam downstream here is the toe of the dam toe 
This portion is known as Geller, yes, it's the small rumors for operation purpose. Yes, here is a hill here, upstream of the dam, upstream phase of the dam. Here is normal water level, maximum water level. The distance between maximum water level and the normal water level is known as uh, freeboard. freeboard. So in depth, let's see uh, each component is and it is functions. Function. The first one is uh, parapet wall, mm, low protection wall, provide on both sides of the crest. Yes, it's provided on both sides. Yes, yes, upstream, downstream, or left or right. It's provided on uh, spillway. Another one is spillways. It is the arrangement near the top to release the excess or circular water of the reservoir to downstream side. The freeboard can be defined as distance between maximum maximum water level and normal water level. Heel. The heel is can be defined as just portion of the dam in contact with the ground. On the upstream side, so another uh, component is top portion of dam in contact with the ground on the downstream side, apartment side of the valley, and huge the structure of the dam rest. Let's show this on this structure. Yes, apartment. This is apartment. Yes, apartment. Apartment. Uh, another important portion of the dam is galleries. Galleries, small room like structure left within the dam for checking operation operations. Or we can say we can define as passage passage tunnel provided in the dam for different purposes. So another one is diversion tunnel. Tunnels are constructed for diverting water before the construction of dam. This helps in keeping the river uh, be dry. The last one is uh, uh, slice way, an opening in the dam near the ground level, which is used to clear the sites, the silt accumulation in the reservoir. This is used to release, uh, used to release the dead load or that is sediment. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Go to YouTube. Please share other good. Subscribe other good. Thank you. We we'll see. Uh, see on another video. Thank you. Bye bye.